this right here crazy. Y'all check this out. I don't know if y'all gonna believe it or not, but look what's going on right now. These emojis that seem harmless to all of us are being used by kids to have discussions that we don't even know about. The DEA says be on the lookout. They could actually be indications that your kids are buying drugs. Grapes, a purple heart, and a baby bottle. Three innocuous emojis one can text or post to most obviously communicate a handful of innocent things. Or, according to the Drug Enforcement Administration, it could also mean cough syrup sold, dealt, and purchased to get high. You know, this is pretty prevalent, and it's taking place all over the country. John Jay College of Criminal Justice Assistant Professor of Public Policy, Adam Scott Want, looked at the DEA's recently released emoji drug code decoded chart and found none of this surprising. Criminals have always encoded their illegal activity. That drug dealers and users in 2022 might use emojis to indicate various illegal or controlled substances in place of lingo already familiar to those policing those drugs and advertise and order those drugs on social media using that emoji code. Scott Wendt thought made perfect sense. Some of the emojis, like a puff of smoke, are really obvious. Some of the other emojis, like a cookie, not so obvious. According to the DEA, the cookie emoji indicates a large quantity of drugs. A dragon or brown heart, heroin. A snowflake, a snowman, a diamond or a key, cocaine. A crystal ball, a blue heart or a test tube, meth. And a dozen different emojis, oxycodone. With this emoji code already cracked, Scott Wendt expected law enforcement to search for said emojis online in hopes of identifying possible drug dealers. It's not really that much of a challenge. Well, experts are now advising parents to look for these emojis on their electronic devices in their homes and to monitor their kids' cell phones every once in a while just so you can see what they're up to.